Hi, I'm Richard Slade of the Seaward Group, and in this short video, we're going to introduce you to the Prime Test 250 series of portable appliance testers. So, here we have the Seaward Prime Test 250 and 250 Plus portable appliance testers. Um, the Prime Test 250 series of PAT testers are ideally suited for those that are uh, carrying out medium volume testing, uh, looking to cover a wide range of electrical appliances, uh, along with those that may be looking to carry out their own PAT testing in house. Both testers within the series are battery operated handheld portable devices using six AA batteries. Um, we have had customers actually report back that they're getting in excess of 8,000 tests off a set of batteries. They are simple one button operation uh, for each test sequence and all of the results and everything are displayed on a clear, easy to read LCD display. When looking at the Prime Test 250 series, we then look at extra tests and features that you would get above and beyond the Prime Test 100. So we have the 250 volt insulation test facility there. So if you are looking to test anything that might be sensitive to higher voltages uh, to a 500 volt insulation test, or you're testing surge protected extension leads, you will require the 250 volt insulation test. We then additionally get the single and three phase leakage options, leakage test options. Uh, for the three phase uh, leakage test, you will require the three phase leakage adapters. On top of that, we also get the RCD test. So again, if you're looking to test any plug-in RCDs or RCD protected extension leads, you will require the RCD test facility as well. Um, then moving on from the Prime Test 250 to the Prime Test 250 Plus, as you can see here, we get an additional three keys at the top. Uh, the Prime Test 250 Plus can be used with the Test and Tag Pro serial printer, enabling you to print out all of your test labels at the end of each test. And it also has a built-in memory storing up to 999 test records. Once stored in the instrument, um, you can then download them to a CSV spreadsheet and this is uh, using a free CSV downloader that comes with the instrument. So to show you how quick and simple it is to use either the Prime Test 250 or 250 Plus, we're going to carry out a test on this Class 2 lamp. So here we have our Prime Test 250 Plus connected up to our Class 2 lamp. Uh, the appliance is plugged into the front socket here on the tester, and I've also got the test probe connected to the exposed metal parts of the appliance. Along with that, I have my mains lead uh, plugged into the tester to in carry out the earth leakage test, and the printer connected uh, to print the label at the end of the test. So to initiate the test, I simply hit my Class 2 key. Um, that will start the test process, and what you'll notice in this instance, it's coming up with a low load. That's just an indication, as obviously the lamp's got a 9 watt bulb. Um, so simply, to commence with the test, I just hit the Class 2 key again. It'll run the insulation test, um, give me a clear indication on pass or fail, and then when I get to the leakage test, it's actually prompting me to hit my leakage key. Obviously, that's just a safety measure, because you're going to be starting the appliance up. You need to ensure it's safe to do so. So if I then hit my leakage key, it will then commence with the test. As you can see, it will activate the appliance. And again, very much like the insulation test, give me simple pass or fail indication. Now with this being the plus version uh, of the Prime Test 250 series, what I also have the facility to now do is print the label off at the end of the test. So I can quite simply hit my print key here, and you'll notice that the label will simply print out very quickly and efficiently at the end of the test. 